the greatest towns. Ten minutes or less. I'm Jonas. I'm TNT Don. I'm Mike the Explosive One. Let's start the timer. But ding TNT. So I know I know you like hot sauce. Uh, sure. Have you ever had Texas Pete's hot sauce? I know you've probably don't, seen it in the store, right? Want the cowboy and the lasso? <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, Have you ever had that? Yeah, I guess it's all right. My favorite is Louisiana, though the Louisiana hot. That's and the. Itch. This might be relative to to you. So Texas Pete's hot sauce is facing a lawsuit. Good. Can you guess? Random guess why? S- sauce plagiarism. What does that even mean? They I mean, took the exact same recipe as some other company? No, because it's made in North Carolina, not Texas. Oh, that's bull crap, man. <laughs> it's made in New York City. That's bull crap. So I wonder crap. if Louisiana hot is made in Louisiana or somewhere else. Do you have some in the in the cupboard? We should go I check. I do. I do have It'll some. say on the side I'll, of the I'll bottom. Grab it real yeah, I'll talk about it. Yeah, so, so this guy decided. And the funny part is the guy who is filed the lawsuit lives in Los Angeles. So the man lives in California. And is mad that the Texas hot sauce that he loves, that he just desires to be poured all down his gullet, is from North Carolina. All right, TNT, did you get? I'm the, not mad at him either. Yeah, I'm still I mean, looking. Just give me a second. I'm sure. It'll, I'm sure. It well, he, he's suing them for false advertising. Like he only bought it because it was. He thought it was from Texas. I don't want me some Texas hot sauce. Oh, wait a minute. Is what? it China? This says uh, it's made in by the Southern Mills Company Incorporated. In New Iberia, L.A. Is that Louisiana? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay, yeah. I was thinking, for some reason, I see L.A. and I was like, California! <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> but okay, it is actually made in Louisiana. Yeah, New New Iberia? Yeah, I've never heard of that. I don't yeah, have I'm a gonna, phone. I'm actually going to look that up. That's honestly, honestly, Jonas, they should be brought up on charges because that's false. And like, it's false advertising and it's like, you know, the highest hot sauce consumption takes place in texas i would think yeah oh yeah I mean, so you're appealing sense. to or louisiana yeah, yeah. like like cajun food dude yeah. is hot why don't you just name it louisiana pete that would have been fine no, it's north carolina no, oh yeah that's even worse yeah they're like no nah, no nah, north carolina yeah, pete? New, new iberia is the largest city in uh in the largest city in in parish seat of iberia parish i don't know what the hell that means uh it's 20 miles south of uh, lafayette Okay, that's Louisiana. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I know the name Lafayette, not just from True Blood. <laughs> is that what that's from? Yeah. Is that Snooky? No. <laughs> True Blood. Sookie. Was... Sookie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah. That's been. what it was. Yeah. Sookie. Come do it. Isn't that the over-sexualized vampire yes. show? Yes. Everyone's just naked and sucking each All other's All the necks. time. And Lafayette was the uh, gay black bartender. Oh, yeah. it was his name? Yeah. <laughs> it was somebody's name? Yeah. So, yeah, dude. Cool that his name I, don't, I don't know... If there's validity to that, I don't think that's going to go anywhere. I don't know. I kind of feel like it should. Um, I don't know. It's like, it's like, it, it's kind of like, like I said, I feel like it's false advertising to an extent. It's not like it's called Pete from Texas's hot sauce. Yeah. It's just called, I mean, it's just, the character's name is Texas Pete. But I feel like it could be misleading to the consumer. I, oh, I, I mean, I see the point. Like a hundred percent. If you think you're sub, if you think you're, uh, supporting something that's from your hometown or you're supporting something from any town, and it turns out is that they're from freaking Delaware, then it's like, no, I don't want that. Yeah, I mean, I guess. It's like the whole paste picante sauce. Yeah, <laughs> New York City. We're New York City, paste picante sauce from the south. <laughs> it's from paste. Where the hell? I don't even know <laughs> I don't where know I doubt I don't that's either. even true. But yeah, dude, I don't know. I, uh, and I, mean, it's I a- like hot sauce and all, but like, I'm not a huge fan. It's it's a silly thing to get mad over. I give you that, but on the same note, it's a cash grab. Yeah, it's, it's, I mean it's I mean the world is too happy. Everybody's like, what can I sue someone for to make money? And amen that's, to that. Yeah, like he wants a, he wants a million dollars because he was he had emotional distress because he thought he was drinking Texas hot sauce and yep. it was straight from the Appalachians. Yep. I'm honestly thinking about how I can sue you uh, for racism about bringing up hot sauce on this episode. <laughs> is that what I'm working on? Is it. that a profiling it's work- thing? It's, it's working. There's way. That, there's something a, there. There's is something that a thing there that people do. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I can bring it up. I'm I pre- didn't even know that that was a thing for racism. Uh, no, I'm pretty sure I feel offended. <laughs> pretty, yeah. sure. pretty sure pretty sure looking at you offends me so yeah. i'm gonna sue you for looking like yeah. an a-hole yeah. so. i don't like the way you brought up hot sauce maybe it was the way you said it <laughs> he called it hot sauce sir and it really got me yeah really yeah. got me it felt, going felt racial yeah i uh 
I don't know, dude. How much do you put hot sauce on a lot of stuff? I know when you first got to. here, you used to put hot sauce on all sorts of. Ish. Yeah, I used to. I've, you know, I've been trying to watch my salt intake um, as much. Is there as a lot I can. of salt in hot sauce? Uh, yeah. <laughs> really? Yes. I guess there's. Isn't there? Well, most a lot of salt stuff. in everything, to be honest. But yeah, yeah you're, you're not wrong because it's a flavor enhancer. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of salt Sprinkle in hot sauce. Sprinkle salt on. Never mind. <laughs> Confused. Yeah, don't worry Confused. about Confused. What do you mean? What are you talking about? I, yeah, I just, I just dip it in salt before. Sh- Never mind. Dip it. What is it, Jones? <laughs> what exactly is it? My fingers. Oh. Dip my fingers in salt. That before. sounds like that'd be painful for the female. No, 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 no. Wow. Wow. Gross. Why are you getting down that path? I was talking about before I eat corn on the cob, I dip my fingers in salt. That's honestly a good idea. <laughs> I, I rub my my hands in butter, put them in oh. salt. And then, and then just I, lather the corn up as you're eating? That's yeah, freaking yeah, gross. Yeah, I use my hands to lather the yeah, I think I can definitely sue you for that one. <laughs> that one has caused intestinal glut. But I think I think for sure, Jonas, if I were to come up with a business or a product and I were to put just like some random state where I know people associate um, quality of the product with that thing, then, yeah, I, I kind of do feel like that's it's disingenuous to your product. It's it's uh, it's playing on either the expectations or, you know, the uh, prep preparations of the uh, of the consumer. And it's being dishonest. Yeah, I guess. I, okay, I, I guess because like, if I had never moved to Texas, right, and then I was in Ohio <clears throat> and I started a place called Texas Barbecue, yeah, and like it, and I'm not from Texas. I didn't learn how to cook it from Texas. Exactly. Nothing about it has anything to do exactly. with Texas. And but it was called Texas Barbecue. Exactly. Somebody's gonna be like, dude, this isn't Texas Barbecue. I'm like, yeah, it's just a name. Mmm, that's the worst part. Like, oh, it's just a name. I'm like, nah, brother. <laughs> Meanwhile, no, it's not. Franklin Barbecue in Austin drives up and cuts my head off. Exactly. Like- now, now, if we can look deep into the history of Texas Pete, we found out that Texas Pete was originally from Texas. He moved learned, to how to, learned how to cook hot sauce from in Texas and then moved there because of the cheaper cost of living. Then I'd be like, okay, I feel yeah. you. Texas he, Pete he moved, moved to, to North, North Carolina Nebraska. to tend to his sick mother and then started Texas Pete and like, and then... <laughs> <laughs> yeah exactly Dude. i just think you know it would be fine if the origin of texas pete had some roots in texas then that's a different story but if you're just like hey i'm in nebraska i want to make some hot sauce and we're not selling enough because it's called nebraska hot sauce let's name it texas okay here we go from the Did texas you look up pete, some texas pete this lore? Te- from the texas pete website okay let's go the history of texas pete oh please read it before the first drop of texas pete hot sauce was ever tasted there was a dream in the great imaginations of the garner family here's their story the garner family the year was 1929 so how is it that tasty red pepper sauce made in North Carolina happens to be made Texas Pete anyways? It's on their effing website. Wow. Legend has it when Sam Garner and his three sons, Thad, Ralph, and Harold. Thad. Thad. We're trying to come up with a brand name for this new spicy sauce they had created. A marketing advisor suggested the name Mexican Joe. Whew. Wow. Glad they didn't go that route. Wow. To connote the piquant flavor reminiscent of the favorite foods of our neighbors to the south. Nope. Said the patriarch of the Garner family, it's got to have an American name. They suggested to move across the border to Texas, which also had a reputation for spicy queen. He, cuisine. He then glanced at his son, Harold, whose nickname was Pete. And Texas Pete, cowboy was born. Weird. Hold on. Nah. Kid goes by, his name is Harold. He goes by Pete. I feel that, though, because my name was Harold. You got a name. You got to call me Funny something else. Funny thing, a guy that I know... His dad's name was Harold, and everybody called him Pete. Is that like a Dick Richards sort of situation? Uh, Harry Pete? Be, I don't know. But I guarantee you ain't going to call me and Harold. It says, uh, or Harry. Ugh. Movie. Let's see. Uh, movie cowboys were very popular in the 30s. Men like Tom Mix and Hopalong Cassidy represent a sort of universal image of rugged independence and self reliance. The perfect ideal for a family business nah. trying to survive tough times. Actually, nah. Texas Pete hot sauce was not the first product of the Garner family made and sold. It it went to their barbecue sauce, so he literally. Nah, I'm not joking. Didn't want to be racist and say Mexican nah, Joe, but he racist. decided he'd go with Texas Pete. Nah, instead. I'm not joking that. I'm not joking that because it, the fact that you that the first thing you were gonna go with was Mexican Joe, we none of y'all from Mexico. You just a bunch of white folk. Crazy. The fact you go with Texas Texas Pete and a bunch of you bunch of freaking North Carolinians. What was it? North Korea, North Nebraska? Not North Koreans. Wow. Freaking Canada. I don't freaking. It doesn't matter. You ain't from Texas. You can't be naming it. That's it. It's the same. It's the same issue. 
I can't believe they have that on their website. Maybe they put that up after mm -hmm. the lawsuit. It's Maybe disgusting. the guy found it on their website and yeah. was like, what the? <laughs> New York City? I want to go to my favorite site and read about my hot sauce. Anyways. <laughs> 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 Either Go way. Go to crazytown.com and subscribe for Jonas. Stop eating Texas Pete. Yep, we out.